Welcome to our tutorial on the offset command. First, let's activate the offset command. The offset surface definition window opens. The first requirement is to select a surface. We'll select extrude 1. Now, we enter the distance of the offset. Let's say 5 millimeters, tab. If you prefer, you can drag the handle in your workspace. Click Reverse Direction to reverse the direction of the offset. Preview. You have the option to offset both sides. Let's preview that. Let's uncheck it for now. Click Reverse Direction and Preview. The next thing I want to show you is that this offset is not an exact replica of the original surface. To demonstrate what I'm talking about, let me drag this handle. As you can see, this curve is changing shape. It's slowly disappearing. If I drag it too far, Katia will prompt me with a warning. Some sub-elements are erroneous. Please change input data. Basically, it can't calculate this feature. OK. Let's drag the distance handle back or reset the value manually in the definition window. Click Preview. Our offset is now back. Now sometimes this type of correction works, and sometimes on more complex surfaces, you may just need to cancel out of the offset and start again. I'm going to change the offset value now to 10 millimeters. Tab, Preview. Let's check both sides, and we'll also check Repeat Object after OK. Click OK. The Object Definition window opens. Let's leave the instances at 2 and check Create in a new body. Remember that this function after release 14 is called a geometrical set. Click OK. As you see, two additional offsets were created in the direction where the original offset was located. OK. Let's undo this now. and undo again. Let's try it again. Offset. Select this body. 10 millimeters. Tab. Preview. Reverse direction. Check both sides. And preview again. Now check repeat after object. OK. Now Katia creates an offset in this direction. Click OK. Let's uncheck Create in a New Body. Use one instance. Tap. As you can see, the offset was created in the upward direction now. Let's undo. And undo again. Let's create one more offset. I'll select this surface again. For the offset distance, we'll enter a value of 20 millimeters. Preview. Let's check Repeat Object after OK, and let's click OK. Let's uncheck Create in a New Body. We'll use two instances, click OK, and Katia gives us a warning. The result can't be assembled because of a restriction. We need to change a value or modify the input body. Basically, Katia isn't able to calculate offset 3, the reason being that the offset is too far from the original surface and the curve ends up closing in on itself. Let's click OK to exit that. We can delete this offset and try to create it from offset 2. In some cases, this correction strategy works, and in some cases not, but it can't hurt to give it a try. To fix this offset, let's expand the specification tree. You can see this offset distance is driven by a formula. If I double click, I can change the value. Let's cancel. I've got a formula here. Let's double click on the formula, highlight it, and let's delete it. OK. You see the formula has disappeared from the specification tree, and our offset has a value of 60 millimeters. Let's double click and change the value to 45 millimeters. Click OK. You see now that our problem is gone. We have one more offset appearing here. 
The only issue is that the distance between these offsets is 5 millimeters instead of 20 millimeters as we originally planned. This concludes our tutorial on creating offsets.